Hi, I'm Plami. In this episode of Raid the K, I'm gonna be reacting to Light Sun's first comeback, Vivas. And I'm actually pretty excited to hear this song because even if I might have been a little bit harsh uh, on Light Sun's debut song, uh, Vanilla, which I don't think I really was, but I kind of feel like maybe I might have been because it is a cute concept kind of song, and I'm more of a fan of uh, uh, Girl Crush and just darker concepts uh, in general. I'm still pretty excited to hear this song because Vanilla was a good song. I really liked it. It was a catchy, it was a cute song, and I've listened to it quite a lot, honestly. Um, I am, The coolest thing about it is that I actually don't really have uh, that many or any really criticisms about the song outside of like personal preference kind of thing. Like I said, I'm more into the darker concepts. Not really much uh, into the cute ones. So outside of that, I really have no criticisms or nitpicks for that song. It's a really good and catchy song. It does what it wants to do and it does it flawlessly. So I'm really hoping for another song like this. And if that happens, I might actually officially become a fan of Lightsome. Because why not? Especially now that COC might as well be a dead group. Even though uh, Eugene is going to be in uh, the new Mnet show group uh, Kepler which I'm really happy for that fact because I love all the COC members and I want to wish them all success but yeah I'm getting a little bit sidetracked I'm excited to check out this song I'm really hoping that it's gonna be a good one so without further ado let's get into it and find out in three two one Man, if Cube put this amount of effort into COC, they would be so successful. This is what COC should have been though. And I'm sorry that I might be bringing uh, up COC quite a lot, but it's hard not to compare them, you know. I still like uh, like some for themselves, you know. I have no hard feelings for them. Man, this brings me back to the K-pop of like 20, 2013, 2014. It brings me back to back when I first became a K-pop fan. Oh, I'm liking this, man. Oh, it's Vivachi. I like the instrumental as well. Man, this group is really fucking growing on me. And some of these outfits are straight up fire. And, and this go this song is still going good, man. Like I'm I'm always constantly expecting that it's gonna be a part that I'm not gonna be into it, but no, it continues to be so good. I love that no mame boy of no mame gorio wa that sounds so good man I love that outfit with the red uh top the most honestly I love how despite this being like a cute song it feels so much sophisticated with with, with a lot of depth to it. I think that's why I like it so much. Okay, Lightsome. 
I see ya. You know, now that I think about it, some of the feelings that I'm getting from Lightsome's music really remind me of the way I felt uh, when I listened to Twice's music before they changed up to a somewhat, a little bit of a more mature concept compared to their cute, cuter stuff. Um, it's not quite the same feeling, but it is a very similar one because with Twice as well, a lot of the time with the cute songs, you still felt a lot of depth uh, uh, to those songs. It, doesn't, it didn't feel like it was just like a filler cute kind of song, you know? And it's the same with Lightsome. You would expect that it's maybe going to be just like a generic cute K-pop song, but it's actually not. It feels like it has more um, depth uh, than, than normal, you know? It doesn't feel generic at all, and I really like that about it. I really do. Um, and honestly, they might be taking up the spotlight uh, for cute queens uh, for me. Because uh, the only group, uh, fem female group with cute songs that I've ever liked, um, and I genuinely say like liked as if, as if, as if, uh, I, as in I loved them so much, uh, was twice. And uh, Lightsome seems to be climbing up that. Uh, that list very quickly because I'm really liking these cute songs and I'm again I'm not really the biggest fan of cute songs so that speaks volumes for how good the song is in my opinion because usually I don't like these kind of songs because I feel like a lot of the time they are the most low effort I guess not that all cute concepts are low effort or anything it's just like it feels like you don't really have to put much uh, put much effort into making like a cute k-pop song so, whenever I really like a cute K-pop song, it really means that a lot of effort was put into that one. And I feel like it was in the case of this song. And I honestly just genuinely want to listen to it one more time. So, before I say anything else, let's just get into it again in 3, 2, 1. I love how it hits you with the hook right off the bat. And with some really striking and colorful visuals. It's so pleasant to the eye, I love that. It's so colorful and I love it. I love the girl with the blue hair. Her outfits are always so good. I'm sorry I kind of I, I kind of uh, zoned off for a second there. It's just I was just focusing on listening to the song, you know. It's that good of a song, honestly. I really like this instrumental. It's so catchy and memorable. I actually haven't really looked up how successful Lightsome has been so far. I haven't really looked up how many albums they've sold and everything. So it would be great if you, great if you guys can comment down uh, in the comments below that information. Because I feel like however successful they may be, they definitely deserve more. Because they're really good. They're probably the, be uh, the group with the best cute concept right now in my opinion. For me, at least. I'm also getting a little bit of a different vibe from their music. 
It does feel a little bit like a fusion between Twice and different when you think about it. I feel like maybe. And again, that is not to say that they're copying those two groups. It's just that that's uh, how it feels to me. And that hook is so good! So far, either the girl with the blue hair or the one with like the red sweater top kind of thing that doesn't have anything below like the shoulders is probably gonna be my bias because I really like their visuals and so far I haven't really learned the group enough to be able to like uh, separate the vocals and them, tell them apart so maybe based on the skills of the actual members in the future my bias is going to change but so far visually it's either the blue haired girl because she looks gorgeous in everything she's stunning visually in my opinion or the girl with like the, sh the red sweater she also looked really good but yeah I really like this I'll definitely be listening to this song and I think it's pr probably better than uh, uh, vanilla it genuinely is because with vanilla I feel like at first it was good like it was better than most cute uh, k-pop songs and it felt better like it felt like a good song, but I feel like it still took me a little bit of a growing... Uh, it, it took a little bit uh, to grow on me for me to really enjoy it. I don't really have that with this song. I like it already. Like, two listens in, I'm already completely into it. And I was already into it after the first listen, so... I think this is genuinely like a better song than that one. And because I don't really have anything critical to say about this one, I'm straight up gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It was a really good song, it managed to impress me and surpass my expectations and it even doesn't really have anything to really nitpick at, like all through the song is catchy, it keeps my attention and I'm enjoying it, like it's, it's a really really good song. But I'm really curious, what do you guys think about this song, so comment it down below and let's have a discussion about it. And yeah, uh, before we end this video though, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently 3 patrons on Patreon. Omari Bridgman, Deadpool, and Lemonade. Thank you guys for supporting me, it really means a lot, I really appreciate it. I hope you stay over there for a long time. And also, if uh, you guys want me to check out the B-Sides, if this is like a mini album or an extended play or whatever, you want me to check out the B-Sides from this group, uh, comment down below to show that there is a demand for it. Um, or maybe potentially go through my Patreon where by subscribing at the specific tire you can get to uh, demand me to react to whatever you feel like. You get 4 requests per month, so I think it's a pretty good deal. And now, before we end this video, I just want to talk about something uh, to you guys very quickly. Um, which some of you may or may have not noticed before or know about me. That being the fact that I am trans. And yes, this may come uh, as shocking uh, to some of you because I don't really flaunt it that much on my channel, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, outside of like my K-pop reactions, which is where I feel like the most comfortable being myself like this. And yeah, I am in fact trans. Um, I'm not necessarily full on uh, male to female, but I heavily want to transition to being pretty female. I do consider myself more non-binary though or maybe gender fluid would be the best descriptor as well because I do have occasional moments where I feel fine being like just a normal guy but most of the time like right now I do feel very dysphoric. Um, and that's why I'm asking you guys for any help that you can give me because my situation right now I I don't really see any way out of outside of you guys' help because and this is gonna be kept short and concise I live with my parents 
they're never going to accept me as a trans person. They, they just never will. And as a matter of fact, back when I started the YouTube channel, I was actually kind of slightly starting my transition back then with like starting to grow out my hair. Um, I even got to DIY HRT, but because my parents started noticing certain things like uh, uh, my behavior had changed a lot and my clothes had changed a lot. I kind of had to stop doing that because they were constantly nagging me about cutting my hair and just started to kind of be threatening in a certain way and felt like they were ashamed of me and everything. And that just kind of, that kind of stress just tired me out to the point where I just gave up. But as dysphoria goes, it just doesn't go away you know i still feel like this and in fact it's somewhat been intensifying again recently so i just wanted to share this with you guys and again i would really appreciate any amount of support you can give me in regards to this because um i just don't see any way out of this because even if i mo uh, moved out of my parents house and got my, myself a job and everything that's just not gonna work for long-term uh, planning because once I transition it's like I probably will not be able to get myself a job because my country is very transphobic nobody gives a shit about LGBT people at all so there's not even much I can do even in terms of transitioning here so yeah I don't know I just would appreciate any amount of support you can give me, uh, be it monetarily or in any way otherwise. And this is not about uh, boosting my channel or anything or guilt tripping you with my sob story. I just wanted to get this off my chest and make my subscribers aware of the situation that I am in and that I would appreciate anything that you guys can help me out with. It would mean literally everything. Like for example, uh, a friend that I made after starting this YouTube channel, my good friend Yuri, has been helping me out a lot. And I genuinely might have not been here if it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him showing up and befriending me. So yeah, this just went a little bit longer than I, I intended, but I would just uh, really appreciate anything you can support me with. That's kind of ultimately what I'm trying to say. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, Please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you don't follow me over there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Ko-fi account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video. So hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.